that's a very interesting choice. Uh, we are off! Um, everyone except Fizzlebeef checking the uh, magic shops. Uh, the king has the ruby, which is a good, okay. which is a neat, nice find. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Ice three, lit three, ice two, and slow two on the uh, in the black magic, and life two at level one. That is, that is knight and red mage learnable. That is really nice for Shun taking the fighter there. So you, you love to see it. And anybody with a red mage or white mage, I uh, link a lot with the uh, the rainbow party black belt. It's gonna really do up in that. Yep. Um, Fizzle might not. Fizzle will like that less, but. I mean, that's... <laughs> that's the... That's the gamble you take. Yeah, he's fine. He, he, he doesn't need no life spell where he's going. <laughs> <laughs> and Chanigan finds Temple of Fiends right away, and it's and that is a horizontally flipped Temple of Fiends. Oh, fantastic. We love to see it. And Fizzleby finds Provoka and is going to go kill some pirates. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not, because those pirates... Did, did I see that pirate have nuke? Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. no that, it was that's... attacking. It was attacking <laughs> the character nuke. My god, that would be one of the scariest things to see in the first few minutes. Not terrible, because you find a way around it, but boy, could that be scary. Shoom picking up uh, all those Temple of Fiends chests. It, it looks like we have shortened to Temple of Fiends. Uh, shortened yeah. Topher. Yes, shortened Temple of Fiends is on. We will have to refight all all of the fiends though, so that is part of the stipulation here. Oh no. Yeah. And, no, there are fiend tiles two and two on both sides. Excuse me. Oh, wolves with glare. Oof. That's. You love to see it as a commentator. You do. Uh, gross for the early game, but should be fine eventually. Opal Rain from Sarah is, you know, decent armor, it's fine. And apparently someone found it. Find a katana plus one. Ooh. Which, if you brought a thief, that sounds pretty good. Chanigan and Shun both with a thief, so that's they're gonna enjoy that. And I see a waterfall over there. Uh, meanwhile, Shun's gonna get uh, gonna clear out those pirates. So, question in chat for Odron for what is she's as cold as ice square? So, uh, that is a four star square. They have to step on every damage tile in ice cave every time they enter the drop down floor. So. Uh, if they don't have um, warp or exit to kind of get themselves out quickly and they got to double dip through it, uh, then they have to go through twice. But every damage tile on the floor with the uh, six pack room and the vanilla frost dragon in the tile left, in the left, top left. Oof. Oof, that's awful. Mm -hmm. It does happen to pair in nicely with that defeat every trap tile in Ice Cave. It does. So, my eye was drawn to top left, bottom right as a possible uh, bingo that I would choose because of that. Um, so, we'll see what our runners decide to do here. Uh, they're all going to have to defeat every trap tile in Ice Cave, so that's a given. And we'll see if they're there if they decide to work that in. Okay, so here's my question on Proc Gen Overworld because uh, Fizzleby finds ordeals and is going to make the ordeals play. Yep. Uh, so here's my question on Proc Gen Overworld is, how do you tell what the towns are? <laughs> so honestly, um, very... You, you kind of can tell because, let's see, I pulled up the... Let me see if I can see it through the map here. So if you look, I put the um, Proc Gen map for us in the, um, in our little chat room here that uh, we have our notes and stuff in. The one town that's like at the top screen that kind of looks like um, an L right there is one of either uh, Melman or it's going to be um, Crescent Lake, one of those two. The, the shape of the town will dictate what it is. Uh, one of the, the top, Melman, I believe, is the top left there. You should look over to 
uh, let's see if I can see another one. I think the um, over to the right was Provoca, uh, right to the right top of um, where Canaria was. Uh, Crescent Lake, I think, will be um, north of Canaria, over by like this little forest area. It's it's okay. the shape of the uh, the white town. Uh, like um, Elfin ah. is bottom left over there. If you can see, it's like, got two the two splits. Side. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, okay, it's the shape of the town. Yeah, you can kind of tell, sort of, but the you know you're, you're looking at pixels here, so it takes a little time to make sure. Right, and it looks like waterfall is flipped, and it looks like everyone except Fizzlebeef is in waterfall. Mm -hmm. a Fizzle working his way through ordeals here, You're gonna get a key item because uh, it is incentivized, and also some information about uh, spike tiles as well. Uh, with a dead black belt, though, I just know it's not going to really matter too much. <laughs> well, if he finds the three eye, if he finds, if is it uh, A side, B side, or both? Let me check. We have. Uh, oh, uh, excuse me. It's vanilla tiles. So the uh, zombie bees will be on the zombie bee tile, and the eye will be in its normal eye tile. Well, that. So we know about so we know where the agama tile and the eye tile are. Correct. Now I mean if I'm if I were Fizzlebeef and the one character I had up at that point where I was was the black belt, I might have taken that ground. Uh, it's um I mean those zombie bees right there are are a fine um that's my third third tile in vanillas that I yeah. go for. I first, Agama second, zombie bees uh, third. So you're not wrong there. That might have been worth it had he had the black belt alive, but in a level 8, they, no, they're going to hit pretty hard. And that is also my, that is also my, uh, preference in order. There's Blue Ooh, Stink. Okay, uh, question is, is that, uh, where was he in the encounter table? Uh, very interesting yeah. that that's right there. Yeah, if I, if I find, if I know Blue Steak and it's yeah. right and it's right off the top of the encounter table. Uh huh. Uh, there's my grind. Yeah, that's it right there. Yeah, for sure. And Fizzle Lupa's him. Fizzle is Lupa. Uh, we find a power bonk. Nice. Even with uh, even with a black belt, I still think a power bonk is useful. Mm -hmm. I agree. If a free saver, I'm never gonna turn it down. Tomb here. Looks like he's gonna maybe grab some levels in the Hall of Dragons. No, he's going for that lizard tile. So kill twelve total lizards is what he's going for here. Yeah, I like it. And and Fizzle doing that. Uh, Fizzle doing that's a nice combination of uh, of uh, four one and one five. Mm -hmm. The Lafayne Super Sprint and Lupa yourself. Yep. I have looped myself by accident. <laughs> I once did it three times in a row. It does happen from time to time. Um. Oh, the, the four... four T-shape. What is that? I don't remember which one for which one the T shape four is. Oh no, that's Lafayne. Yes, Lafayne. And warp and fast at level seven. That feels that feels cool. awful. That feels kind of bad. Yeah. Okay, Fizzle, going for that dark uh, that make your enemies blind and miss you. I like it. And Chanigan, do Chanigan does the, uh, Chanigan and Shoom both doing the, uh, the Fanish, the Lupa, and Super Sprint. Mm -hmm. Warp and Fast both sharing level 7 feels kind of bad. Mm. Fast at level 7 just feels bad. Yeah, physical will get charges of that with the two black mages, so he's less worried than anybody else, but oof. And 
we have Link a lot on is that Earth three? Oh, yeah. trance on those specters. Ooh, no, no, no. Yes, he is on Earth three. I and Fizzle finds that saber bonk. Mm -hmm. And a paper cut sword plus two. <laughs> Very nice. Well, plus two, it might actually be useful for something other than throwing out the window on Sky. <laughs> I think that's all it's useful for, but, you know, we'll see. Um, well, plus two, it's, at plus two, it might have enough crit to actually do something. Maybe. Perhaps. Now, is it guaranteed horizontal flip, or is it tri-state horizontal flip? It is uh, guaranteed horizontal flips. Okay. I, I dislike that less. <laughs> What's he doing? He's looking for slimes, isn't he? He probably is. Yep, I bet he's committing himself to R5 then if he's looking for slimes. Okay, yeah. I need to look at something. You can find mucks on this floor. Um... And the other one, the red one, uh, I'm not sure, I forget their name right now, but it's escaping me. Oh. Oh, that's... Scums. Bloody. Scums, that's it. Scums, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I always play Ooze. with... Ooze. Yeah. Ooze, thank you, Herbie. Yeah. Scums are the green ones. I always play with the fun with the fun enemy names on, so... <laughs> fun enemy names is fine. It's when we start playing with uh, the enemy color shuffle that it just drives me absolutely yeah. crazy. Um, okay, so he's committing to R5, so show me your moves to uh, let everyone know, is spend one full turn on all required fiends with every party member using an item that has no in-battle utility. Uh, Fires had Zap somewhere in their, um, oh. in their repertoire, which is annoying, but again, we're, we're here to look for oozes, and we'll find them eventually on this floor along with mucks, but they are they seem to be buried in this encounter table. Yeah, I might be... I might be running to try and find Marsh and do the green, do the green slimes out of Marsh. Yeah, it looks like there's always changing his mind there. It, it's, you can find two in that dungeon, so I understand, but that's... Uh, you know, those, those fires are going to make it less fun. Yeah. I think you can also find them in Earth. I think you're right. The mucks, at least, I think are here. I think you can at least find the green ones in Earth. Yeah, oozes too, I think you're right, yeah. Or, uh, scums. You know, this is part of the fun, part of the fun of commentating, uh, of commentating uh, bingo, double anti bingo is figuring out what what bingos people are going for. <laughs> yep, <laughs> it is fun. You you know what they're gonna have to do because they force each other align, uh, and you can already see the different um, different strategies that each of our runners are choosing. There there there's a whole different array of options here they can pick, and it's you know, pretty cool to see them just kind of materialize before us as we're watching. I like it. And is that a marsh? That, that is, is a marsh that Chanigan finds. Yep. And that's going to be Melmond. And what castle is that? That's Northwest Castle. Mm -hmm. Now, is Elf Castle going to be at Elfland, or is Elf Castle going to be just somewhere? Elf Castle will be separate from Elfland, unless they get lucky. And Fizzle finding those uh, oozes. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, has lost his black belt again. Yeah. Hey, there's Out of Bounds Bat. Nice. 
And that's a Zonk, that's a Zonk, uh, Cardia on Chamigan's side. Mm -hmm. And that's a, uh, that's a Hall of, that's a Hall of Dragons. It is, and Shroom, uh, taken out the successfully cure an ailment in battle, along with finding a Saria to work on that lizard tile, and he's trying to hit it with Dark. Uh, where's where's the dark? I think dark was level four. No, I was thinking where where on the. Oh, um, the on make the blind card. enemies miss you. The make the C four R five tile make blind okay. enemies miss you. Okay, four five. Mm -hmm. There we go. So it looks like Shum may be uh, leaning into C four. Could be C four is where my eye was drawn beforehand. Um along with top left to bottom right, because if you take a black belt, you're going to want to go to 42 anyway. Uh, the cast a spell of every element could be difficult, um, especially for, you know, someone like Fizzle, who took only a party of all uh, black mages and punch. Yeah. <laughs> so that one's out, along with the white mage and C5R4, so we knew that was not going anywhere. Yeah. And it looks like Elf Castle is at Elfland. Oh, wow, okay. And Shum finds a Dwarf Cave. Nice. And... Is White Mage Harmal on? Yes. That has become sort of standard. I mean, it's definitely a good quality of life mm -hmm. flag. I'm gonna turn in that bottle and see what it becomes. Chanigan laying into this Hall of Dragons. I like it. Uh, do we have a, do we have kill a certain amount of dragons tile? Oh, or is he just he's getting his levels get some of levels. them anyway? Yeah. Well, it's not a bad choice to party grind to party grind in Hall of Dragons to mm -hmm. get. There's a key. Okay. 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 Um, it's not a bad choice to party grind in Hall of Dragons for a little ways to, mm -hmm. to get those, uh, um, to get uh, levels up enough to uh, get the Black Belt grind online. Mm -hmm. Agreed. We do have unlocked Temple of Fiends, so that key is a sort of zonk in a way, but I mean, it is experience and key, uh, and experience is key, so it's fine. It is experience. It does. It does give you. It does give you several more chests. Mm -hmm. And I mean, maybe may a little more valuable with non-vanilla non-vanilla spike tiles, but mm -hmm. because now you know that the spike tiles that the key opens up are useless. And link a lot in ice cave. Let's see if let's see if he's doing cold as ice. This was working on the trap tiles. Had to run from the fight and go back in because his mages got stunned. But he took it out that time. a paper cut sword plus two. Um, Shum's gonna find that uh, power bonk in here. Mm -hmm. um, we see a bridge, and it's a bridge to nowhere. <laughs> uh, I love where the bridge can pop up in Proc Gen. It's quite funny. Yeah, I mean, the bridge to nowhere. I mean, where are we, in Alaska? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Fizzle is. Oh, look at that. That Titan oh, look at that. Yeah. Oof. Oh, look at that. Uh, look at that. Uh, <laughs> Shumbabi, uh, 
Look at that fight on Shumbabi. That is an experienced pinata. Yeah, it is laden with XP and with uh, Ice 3 level 1. I mean, that's even a nice backup for nukes, so you love to see it. I have to imagine Fizzle's going to go through this ice cave here, and then he's going to lean into this black belt on the eye now that he's here. 20 minutes in, you want to start getting your levels yeah. as soon as you can. Yeah, let's get... Yeah, you want to get that grind... You want to get grind on. Mm-hmm. We'll see. I feel like it just makes sense. Oh! <laughs> well, um... Okay. Oh. That's, that's less appealing now. Alright, let's find that Agama tile. Right. <laughs> Suddenly, that becomes the wrong eye. <laughs> I mean, we do, uh, let me double check something here to make sure, but I believe... No, the, the Vanilla Eye does not have Glance. The Vanilla Eye has Quad X. Now, I'm looking to see if we have Save on Game Over here. To at least have that app to fall back on should something really, truly terrible happen. Uh, looks like ADR says yes, Save on oh. Game Over is on. Thank you, ADR. Nope, Fizzles, Fizzles gonna lead into that, uh, Fizzles gonna lead into that eye until, uh, until, until he game overs. <laughs> well, I mean, I did the same thing, I did the same thing during punch week, mm -hmm. during, uh, Uh, yeah, during Punch Mage Week on uh, Duckling Derby. By the way, Duck or Duckling Boot Camp. By the way, if you are interested in the, in learning the randomizer, we have a program called Duckling, called the Duckling Program. We are in the midst of the Duckling Boot Camp, which is where experienced runners like Luffy, like Therison, like all of these runners in this uh, race, will basically teach you how to beat them. <laughs> yes. A uh, big shout out to my partner in crime, Saracen, who's been uh, doing a fantastic job with uh, getting us squared away uh, for the Duck Boot Camp and the Derby coming up in a few weeks. Sign up sheets are out for you runners that want to get down on that. So please join us. Uh, we're looking for um, some time frames based off of the, uh, the sign up sheet we put out there, and then we'll come up with uh, some race nights, and it'll be a lot of fun. Four weeks of Derby after six weeks of boot camp. I unfortunately will not be able to do the, uh... And Link a lot forgets that it's horizontal flip. <laughs> um, I will unfortunately not be able to do the boot camp because... Or the Derby. This time, because work trip. Um, uh, going back overseas? Yeah. Godspeed, my friend. Not as far this time, but still... Trip. You were far last time. Where were you? Uh, Bahrain. Bahrain, that's right. This time it's France. That's, well, you know what? There are worse places to go. Well, the French are striking right now, so. <laughs> All right, Fizzle, Black Belt engaged now. Uh, Link a lot is into the volcano. Looks like he's going down to the Agamas. Maybe he got yep. uh, stoned here, or maybe he uh, had something else happen. No, I'm just gonna... Well, we're gonna kill off the party. We're gonna kill off the party. We're gonna kill off the party. We're gonna get that black that black belt grind online. Uh, Fizzle, what happened? Did he get stone-touched, maybe? I think he did. Okay, well, he's got level 20-something, so he's... It's not unreasonable that he could head to the Hall of Dragons and try to punch his way through. That or... That or just go to the Agamas and punch. Mm -hmm. Also true. He does know where that is. Now it also is going to check out uh, and get some more key items. See... 
the uh, earth turns into. And there's Chanigan. Uh, there's Chanigan as cold as ice. Mm hmm. More than 300. Mm. More than 306 uh, HP on those uh, Agamas. Oof. I, one punch them down, we will get to, but that's going to be at least two rounds initially. Yeah, 310 is not enough. Wow. So six hits is not quite getting us there just yet. But they also don't look like they hit all that hard, and mm. here's the thing with a here's the thing with a black belt. Once the grind is online, mm -hmm. it, you're not unless something has like death touch or something like that. You're probably not gonna die. Yeah, you're probably fine uh, once they get their uh, XP up to or their M death up to a level where it's also really nothing to worry about. That is, by the way, a Musa plus three from uh, Sarda. And Grandpa's giving out his knives. Grandpa's got the, Grandpa's got the, the good knives. Mm -hmm. And, and Shum, Shum probably looking for those uh, slimes. Yep, and he found two of them. That's three, I think, now that he's got. And Fizzle gives the people what they want. Hooray! Hooray! That's right. See, I, I knew I like I knew I liked you, Luffy. <laughs> Gray Dwarf must survive. Yeah, Hooray Dwarf needs to be spared. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, not I'm sorry. Not. To Saracen and Eight. <laughs> All right, a lot. Six, damage. Just black black to to work right now. He's got to be level twenty-five by now. Fixed for four sixty-six. Twenty-five. Yeah, there's 25. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm not nearly good enough. No, I just, just, I do hooray dwarf anyway. <laughs> you gotta do the hooray dwarf. He's, you know, fantastic. That's right, Spanny. Hooray dwarf, hooray dwarf is love. Hooray dwarf is life. Yes, long live our friend hooray. And shoot, going back through, uh, going back that cold as ice again. Mm -hmm. On our stream as well to watch, so we're a little bit behind where you guys are looking at that. Thank you. 
Very, very true. Fizzle is a sky clear away from Gomo, but he's gonna want some more levels on that black belt. Yeah. Yeah, Fizzle's gonna want to... Fizzle's going to want to be at, uh... At certainly 32. Yeah, at least 32, if not 42. 42 is, um... You know, basically a cheat code in these flags. Uh, 32 can get you there. Yeah, 32, <laughs> 32 will absolutely get you there. Mm -hmm. Um... 42 is nice. Mm-hmm. But is not necessarily necessary. Right. Yeah, I think Danny's yeah. right. I think Fizzle stops at 32 with that, uh, that air with quote that... death, you know? Yeah, and with that saber bonk. Yeah. Blink a lot, 37, I would say by now, maybe? 36. 37. Yeah, if if Lancelot's sitting at 37, he's definitely going 42. Yeah, he's not stopping. <clears throat> now I have I have ground I have ground to 46 before, mm -hmm. but that was when I had plus 20 hit percent. Mm, yep. So you grind to 46 for 12. Yeah, the the mythical 12 hits it is pretty good. Uh. It was again. It was those punch mate. It was that punch mage weak seed because the uh, boss scaling was cranked way up. Mm -hmm. yeah, like two to three hundred percent boss scaling. I want yeah. that. I want those extra two hits. Yeah, we we cranked up the scaling there for the HP. Um, the the regular boss stats weren't too bad, but the HP was jacked up for that specific reason. And, and successfully belts. confused carry. Nice. All right, and we don't need to kill her. We just need to confuse her, which is even, which is continued disrespect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's two fiends that shoot disrespect. You love to see it. <laughs> yes, yes, you absolutely love to see the disrespect for these mm -hmm. fiends. And let's see is. Fizzle is... Fizzle's in. He's got to get yeah. his cube still. I think he needs... Fizzle. Yeah, Fizzle needs a cube and is a uh, full clear sky from... A full clear sky and levels on the black belt. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, probably we'll pick up the last two on... The last two on route. Yeah. The show me your moves has to be in Temple of Fiends anyway, so he's he's a sky clear away from let's go. Yeah, he's um Fizzle Beef I mean Fizzle Beef still wants some levels, but mm -hmm. uh, so Nicolas stopped at 40. Yeah, he'll he'll get the rest through attrition as he walks and finishes what he's doing. Okay, I, that's good to know because I generally go all the way to 42. So I guess that helps, uh, that is part of why I get, I'm a little slow. <laughs> it's, it's bold. I never like to finish taking my levels on a black belt until, like, I know. Like, I have 42, I'm good, I'm done. Um, you do tend to, when you stop at 42, though, you'll get... Uh, a couple more levels and finish somewhere in the 44 to 45 range most likely so there's something to be said for stopping a few levels early you have your eight hits you're in a really good spot m def wise as well so it's probably fine um but i know that there's been an instance or two where i then tried to walk out of where i am and then you know zap down or kill you know, which is alleviated a little bit here with the save on game over um but still the pressure and the thought is always there that scares me and by the way, the uh, the green chimeras, is that Sphinx? Yes. Have uh, glare. Oh, fantastic. Instant death. Fantastic. And you will see those in Topher. You well, will. Well, not short-term. Not, not in our, not in short Topher. But yeah. 
in a standard Topher, you will see those. Yep. I think you see those in Mirage. They do pop up in uh, Volcano, Earth Cave. I know the Manticores pop up in Mirage. I'm not sure if you can see the Sphinx in the first two levels, though. Maybe. But definitely uh, outside of Ordeals as well, you can see them through Cardia. Uh, they tend to be in quite a few spots. Yeah, they are in a lot of places. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like Fizzle's gonna. Looks like Fizzle's gonna haul a dragons the rest. Yeah, it makes sense. This will be pretty quick here. Um, it's fine. Now, Ooh. is that Tia Tia one or Tia two? Tia one here. That's so. a with damage poison. Yeah. Which is actually helpful. It is. It, it took out the other black belt, which is or the uh, black mage, which is nice. And this should be. Oh, that's right. We have increased dark on. So yikes. Womp womp. Yeah, Chanigan. <laughs> Chanigan uh, really wanted to get that in there when we were building the flags, the improved dark, and you saw what it did there to a black belt. Like, granted, it, it did not have the the eight hits at level thirty two yet, but that's a six hit black belt. Um, yeah, <laughs> that just was missing. That is a six hit black belt that was just. <laughs> the... Yeah, that yeah. missed. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was Channing in Dark Moon. Yeah, he was very adamant with getting that in there, and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I love uh, you. Love to hear you. Love to see it, Ch Classic Gamer. That was a six miss black belt. <laughs> sure was. <laughs> well said. But yeah, uh, Herbie B makes the comment, it is nice to be able to beat Tia here without having to dive Sky. Very true, but with having I mean, to do that open every chest in Sky, we have to go there anyway. But to your point, uh, we can now skip those last two floors and not, you know, just not have to worry about walking out. Yeah, we can now just walk out of mm -hmm. Sky. Yep. So we're looking around, let's see. Shun Bobby has his force road done, uh, which is great. So he's got to be looking to. What else are you gonna do? Looking around uh, here? Take a white mage to twenty-five. Could do that. Yeah, yeah. That looks like what it is. And let's go. go. Yep, it is. He's gonna go here through the hall of dragons. It looks like. Okay, if Fizzle had exit, if Fizzle had an exit caster, I would say that would be clearing TO1 there in uh, Hall of Dragons is even better. Mm -hmm. Because then you because then you do one, two, three, you do sky one, two, three, and and done. Yeah. And exit. Level 30 on this black belt already. They're they're coming fast here, these levels. Yeah. So. 13,031. Yeah, I think he stops at 32 here just because of that ice wipe. He's got a lot of levels on that one black mage, too. 358 HP, even with the plus, I think it was 25, was a level on that black mage. That's that's hefty. Well, and that's got that's got plenty of fast casts, too. Mm -hmm. Sure does. These red dragons will put him over the top wall. Come on. Wall doesn't do anything with punch. Mm hmm. Yep, 32 and we're out. Yep. I mean, wall's a good, wall's a good idea. Except it's a punch mage. <laughs> yeah, Wall's not going to protect you where this fight's going. Sorry. Spells? <laughs> where we're going, we don't need spells. Mm -hmm. Indeed. A fizzle looking for Mirage.
I almost wonder if I wouldn't have, knowing it, knowing I was going against Fizzle, I almost wonder if I wouldn't have gone with the uh, forcing row one on him. Honestly, if um, or if column I was, five, I would have put column five on his plate. I, I, I've raised Fizzle a couple times, and I'm always trying to throw a white mage into his party because <laughs> he never wants to take them. Um, so that's what I would have done. But I mean, you know, I'm not racing. I'm here with you talking. And Link a lot heading up toward heading up into sky, into sky. Mm -hmm. Shanigan topping off his levels on his black belt here in the Hall of Dragons with the Masa still swinging, so not quite 32 yet, I think, on that black belt. And Linkalot is going to op is going to open every chest in Sky and mm -hmm. defeat Team at one because that is required of that is required of him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 25 on Shanigan's black belt. Um, actually, Linkalot is also. A sky clear away from from go. Mm -hmm. Oh, Fizzle's having trouble finding sky. Yeah. You hate to see that. Yeah, this uh, the trouble with Procter and Overworld. Sometimes you know you yeah. think you know where it is, um, but it can be a little tricky sometimes. Also, finding a time to pick up his party was definitely something he wanted to do. Yeah, hit, hitting the party member store is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Alright, Shum in Temple of Fiends here on Kraken 2, so already through the first fiend here. There's that cube finally for Fizzle. There's that dark again. Mm hmm. Lightning too. That's fine. Uh, that also might have been it. That Fizzle didn't have the cube. Yeah, he did not have the cube. cube yeah. All right. Let's see. So we got some lock too. Oh, that was a really, really big punch on the Shun's fighter there. Yikes. We're gonna have to do this without a fighter here. Well, I mean, although we have life too. We have life too. We, we have bring life up. too. Mm -hmm. We could bring him up. Yeah, I mean, Kraken 2 is doing Kraken 2 things. Yep. Nuke goes out again. Terminated. Okay, we're through. And Chan again. What is Chan again looking for? Maybe he's still looking for Sky. No, he just flew past it. Hmm. Alright, 44 minutes, almost exactly, Shun Bobby with the Vorpal in hand, about to pull uh, the Ultimate Fiend Chaos. Move that ribbon, do some shuffling with his armor. Here we go. Here we go, let's see how, let's see how the paper cut sword works. Alright, so we're gonna fast, we're gonna power bomb, and we're gonna invis to first turn And we're swirl. gonna get a swirl. Okay, low rolls on the two party members that matter, that white mage and that fighter. That black mage gets off fast, so you'll love to see it. Good. And Viz 2 goes off also good. Alright, heal pots are coming. Lock 2. We're gonna swing. Test swing coming, and Viz 2 comes out. Meanwhile, Fizzle is, uh... Meanwhile, Fizzle's in sky and is opening chests. Yeah, uh, Tornado from Chaos as well comes out. Big roll on the fighter, down to 42 HP. Um, but we're just going to keep swinging. We're going to heal pot. We're going to power bomb because we have 5 bits 99. is not good enough. Uh, Lightning 2 comes out. Cure 4, Cure very four. timely, very timely. Uh, more power. More heal. Swing. More Cure 4. Yep, swing Vorpal, 5 hits, 488, that's better. Down goes the Thief with the Quad X. But your, the Thief is irrelevant at this mm -hmm. point. 3 hits, 281. Punch misses. More Invis 2. Swing. 7 for 384. Okay, single target Invis. Zap comes out. We're one on one here. Uh, more power. Another swing. 
six, six for 495. Okay. Thunder for 57. Ribbon doing its work. Seven That'll hits, 737. Do Down goes Chaos. Get your GGs out for Shoom Bobby uh, with the first victory here in our semifinal matchup with a race time dot GG time of 4550. GGs. GG to you. Well done. Well done, Shoom. Mm hmm. Um. Meanwhile, Fizzlebeef is on Spider Floor. Um, Linkalot is Linkalot is in is in Tof and Go. Mm -hmm. But he's got to remember where Tof is. See, this is the floor. Sky 2 is one of those floors where I absolutely hate the flip. Uh, it's, there's so much walking involved on this floor, too. Like, ugh, it's painful. And there's that eye with glance again. Mm -hmm. But this time, Punch Mage has sufficient amount of... Uh, has a sufficient amount of... Um, MDEF that it's not really gonna that's not really gonna matter. Mm -hmm. Think a lot taking this fight. What are you doing? I'm curious here. Hmm. No reason, I suppose. Ah, the ghost tile. Thank you, thank you. Yes, ghosts. I see it now. Shanigan gets his chime, still has to go and open every box in the sky. And meanwhile, Linkalot on carry. I see uh, Shuman, carry. Shuman in the waiting room. I'm going to bring him in real quick to talk to us for a little bit before he heads on off to bed because he's an early riser. GG to you, Shoom. Shoom, you're muted, but if you can hear us, GG's, buddy. Heck of a race. I can hear you, and thank you. You're welcome. Shoom, tell us. The party composition is my biggest question. You're the only one who didn't take a black belt, and was that by design? I considered that until the very end of Party Select, mm -hmm. um, because black belt seems very obvious with the, the board the way it is, being like you don't really have to dive things. Uh, but the 0.7 XP nerf, I was like, I'm going to have to rely on a really early Hall of Dragons. And like, we saw that that was, like, I can get completely to Bahamut without an encounter. Right. So um, I think that really would have hurt Black Belts. Mm -hmm. um, but in general, the plus 10% on the hit for the Knight also, knowing that Amasa is coming, could get me in there at like 22, 23. Right. So, Link a lot also on Chaos. Uh, Blink and you miss it. He's already done with his two fiends. And with that level 42, I think, Black Belt by now, uh, this should be a matter of time. And Fizzle has opened all. or is opening the last of his sky chest. That was a, a very trolly cube for Fizzle there to finally get his access to sky. He was really digging that out. I feel like that was super early in my world. I, I don't know which way I routed differently than him. I guess I went down, he went up uh, to more locations. Uh, it was uh, it was in uh, uh, oh, Linkalot, a winner. Linkalot, Linkalot defeats Chaos. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Sages. It was Circle of Sages. That was where the cube was. Yeah, that's a that's an easy one to overlook in these flags when you're like not looking for towns. Right. So GG's in the chat for Sir Linkalot, our second place finisher, uh, and really uh, second first place finisher. Um, I believe that sets up our finals matchup here between you and Sir Linkalot. Am I correct? <laughs> you are, and I don't feel any better about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
it, it, this was really a great tournament. It was it was good to watch you guys. Uh, I'm sorry that I had to miss it um, personally, but you guys have done a tremendous job. The the routing you had tonight was really on point. Um, the white mage did you good. That life in battle kind of saved your bacon there a little bit, almost on cracking too, uh, but it was fine. So just to uh, just to mention. Uh, Fizzle does take a quick trip to McDonald's <laughs> to get some tasty, tasty XP. Yeah, might as well top it off. He's gonna kill himself with tea and that here as well. Probably get out of here fast. Yeah, it's faster to do this because he doesn't have exit or warp. Yeah. I'm really intrigued to see why he chose row three on me when everyone else seems to be going with column three. That was very interesting. What drew your line to column three, honestly? Was it the... Uh... Oh, open every chest in sky. Yeah. G it's a guaranteed five-minute time sink. Mm -hmm. GG, Sir Langalot. Yeah, GG's. Good game. Thank you. So, Link a lot. Um, tell us about your thoughts here with the uh, the party composition. You went Black Belt Rainbow, and you were taking your levels on the Agama. Did uh, you see the eye with glance is that what steered you away from that because you were in ice and then all of a sudden you're in volcano i miss what happened yeah he uh glanced at me immediately i was like well this is not safe and i guess i could have put the ribbon on but i would have had to run back in i was like i'll just go to the agamas mm -hmm. uh, hopefully they're safe and with hurt all in the black belt i was like that should be fine i, I should still yeah don't shouldn't need 21 to take this grind right away and that also basically gave you the uh, lizard's tile, too. Yeah, I wasn't too worried about that tile, specifically. Um, I was already under the understanding I was either going to be going... I was going to be going, like, bottom left, top right, more than likely. Because um, I was planning on taking the grind to 40. So as soon as I got that, I already knew where I could get ghosts because I had the key with Fane Super Sprint. The only thing I needed to do was go grab Cure 4 wherever it was and then find something that gave me a status ailment. And I was like, oh yeah, that's right. The eyes give stone. There we go. Completely forgetting that doesn't work on stone. And I was like, wait, those sorcerers had sleep touch. Let's just go have them do it. So... Very nice. Yeah, it was a really well-run race by both of you guys. It was uh, <clears throat> impressive to see the different routing and the choices. It's always yeah. fun to see the bingo board light up uh, and see what your decisions are after getting your force row. So that was really cool to look at. And uh, Chanigan taking a trip to McDonald's as well. Fizzle into Temple of Fiends Revisited, pulling the speed bump Mark II. And showing, and showing him... Uh, showing it his moves. Mm -hmm. Where was that Masamune? Tell me it was Astos. It was Grandpa. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I didn't go through Titans. Yep. It was Sarda. Yeah, as, as soon as I got, I think I had Chime first, or as soon as I had Cube, I was like, nope, don't don't need to check anything else. Let's just go finish the tiles I'm planning on doing at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Fizzle was really trying to dig out that cube for quite a while. It was uh, eluding him, to say the least. And, oh, Kraken started off with Dark on the Black Belt. Oh, boy. So, let's wonder, is this and stuns the Black Belt? Okay, well, Nuke can get us there. We saw that before. Um, oh, do didn't stun the Black, didn't actually stun the Black Belt, but... Now the Nuke 376, yeah, down goes Kraken 2. Very nice. So Kraken do have the uh, C3 status elemental skills or spells almost by itself. Mm-hmm. Almost. That's the kind of dice you can roll here with these flags and see if you can find them in Temple of Fiends. Um, with the short Temple of Fiends also, it makes it a little less daunting than having to run back and forth on like a carry floor back and forth into the fight or something. So it's always interesting to see the strategy you guys have. Yeah, I was happy because after I took the Agama grind, I was like, I'm just going to run out, go through carry so I can leave. And then I got that whiz ogre, girl ogre. I'm like, just get out of my way. It's like, I need to go fight carry. And it's like, hey, uh, I got a status elemental spell for you. I'm like, oh, okay, let me have that. And then, then I'll go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, punch by that black belt. 10 hits 384. It's a matter of time, I think. 12 for 779. One There's... of the Black Mage is sleeping. That'll do it. Yeah, That'll be four, down three. to chaos. 
Get your GGs out in chat for Fizzle, our third place runner, second place in his race, first place in our hearts. Uh, GGs, Fizzle. GG, Fizzle. GGs, buddy. Oh, wow. GGs, Fizzle. So you're in three mages. Sure. Mm. <laughs> I guess black you can mage, it. black mage, punch mage. That's true. So tell us, Fizzle, the uh, that cube. That cube. Yeah, that that was really uh, elusive to say the least, and the eyes were rude. So the eyes kind of did what I wanted them to do. It would have been great to finish my grind there, but I always have my eye set on um, solo punch dragons. Mm -hmm. I just I just need to work up to that point because the eye, eye grind is usually good, but I in this flag set it just feels a little too slow. Mm -hmm. And then I figured, hey, while I'm grinding dragons, I can blow up a Tia, and then I don't have to do the last two floors of sky. <sighs> yeah, makes sense. Chanigan digging out those slimes, finishing his tile. So, what are your thoughts, Vizzle? This is uh, the semifinals here. Unfortunately, this is where the tournament ends for you. GG's on making it here. Your thoughts on the flags and the tournament as a whole. What do you think? I think the addition of Proc Gen Overworld was a fascinating wrinkle to shaking up the difficulty of a lot of tiles I remember from last year. Things that in the past would have been bothersome are now just like, eh. Mm -hmm. And things that used to be just like kind of whatever are now the worst thing in the world <laughs> um i think a good example of that is um like purchase levels one through seven spells like when lafane is terribly far out of the way i i, I don't want to bother with that but if i can just park next to it and go to the store and buy them all like sure why not like Mm -hmm. It's it's things like that that I think keep it fresh and interesting that I definitely appreciated. Mm -hmm. Channing in here getting some business from uh, Tia One saying, uh, no, not today. <laughs> <laughs> but that was just the quick way out. Yeah, this is true. Um, was, um, the one tile that Proc Gen Overworld eliminates that makes me sad is putt putt boat race <laughs> <laughs> i know yeah. replaced kind of by that lafane super sprint i love that <laughs> tile it is the funniest most tragic tile <laughs> <laughs> it was good to see you guys do that and the the loop at the same time though and the fact that they were in like two completely different rows and columns was like adding a little bit of humor <laughs> to watching you all do it <laughs> mm -hmm. but but it was good As we watch our friend Chanigan finish up here, um, finals tomorrow, I believe, is what we're going to do. You guys have a time planned out? Uh, I'm hoping 8 o'clock works for Sir Link a lot or something around there. Yeah, 8 o'clock works. All right. Heard it here first, folks. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. So tomorrow night, Sunday, April 16th at 8 p.m., uh, Springo Bingo Dad Finals, uh, Shun Bobby versus Sir Link a lot. Should be a lot of fun. And Chanigan heads out from uh, Lafayne. I or Dark Moon. Ra yeah, Chanigan heads out from Lafayne. I believe Chanigan is headed for. Yep, headed for Topher. Mm -hmm. And a quick note from ADR as well. Uh, tomorrow night, the Platy Party starts at 9 p.m. for any of us uh, veterans that want to get in and run. Uh, some stuff against each other. Um, two former Platypus Plattis Primes uh, facing off in the bingo can't join us even if they wanted to with Shun and Sir Link a lot, so we might have dodged the bullet there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still owe you payback, Shun, from that finals match when I had to forfeit to go to work. I'm never going to let you hear the end of it. <laughs> Uh, sounds like a you problem, really. <laughs> You're lucky. I love you, buddy. <laughs> All right, Chanigan, go into carry two. Bye, carry two. Oh, good question. If uh, Bingo is tomorrow at 8 p.m. with the Platy Party also tomorrow, is it on FFR? Um, hmm. 
Good question. I'm trying to see what ch what uh, Chanigan's second what Chanigan's second bingo is. Is it I, the every element? I believe so, yeah. He might be waiting to do that on Chaos. <laughs> I mean, we could postpone the platy party one week. I'm not going to be able to do week three because I got inventory, so you guys uh, dodge another bullet. It always falls in line with a terrible time for me. Well, they're both former Platypus Primes anyway. I don't think they can raise Dark Moon if they wanted to. Yeah, I'm the current Platypus Prime, so this I is true. Can't. This is true, and Shroom was before you. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. Chan again, pulling chaos here. We're going to punch. We're going to fast. I'm pretty sure three hits, three damage from that black belt is going to leave something to be desired. Yeah. Going by that massa, three hits, 178 is fine. We're throwing out cake because, you know, why not? Well, because there. we've got to have that, uh, we've got to have that element, every element. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, the go fast goes off now. Swing, punch, and fire two. Swirl. Yeah, Chaos giving out swirlies. Mm-hmm, and then the tornado's coming too, so hopefully Shannon can get some more magic out before that happens. There's the tornado. Oh, lower rolls the black mage. Oh, thunder. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> I can't say I blame him. With that, Chanigan drops the forfeit. Joins us in the booth, though. Hello. GG. <laughs> oh, boy. I love that. I love pressing my reset button. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> um... Everything felt bad. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was a, an interesting race. Uh, party composition. I, I like what you did uh, with the thief, the black belt, and the two mages. Um, but it just seemed like it was tough to really find your footing there at times. Yeah. Um, I forgot to screenshot the map. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I even gave um, it to you early. Oh. <laughs> I know, and I forgot. <laughs> um. I almost didn't take notes, and yeah, uh, I wasn't prepared at all. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what, for if that's the case, you still, the time you had and the pace you were on and where you did, uh, kudos to you, because that's a really good job if that's the way it was, so. Yeah. Uh, also, I am, I couldn't finish that last bingo because I didn't have Bane or Brack. Uh, yeah. They were level, either's level 7 or 8, so. Yeah. I'm like, nah, I'll just go kill Chaos for fun and <laughs> just for <forfeit>. fate. <laughs> well, it was fun to watch anyway. Um, but I mean, let's uh, let's toss this around uh, to final thoughts to our runners here. Um, we'll start with uh, the first place on stream, first finalist, uh, Shun Bobby. Final thoughts, my friend. I don't really have many. Just thank you all to the race crew uh, for getting this together, and thank you to ADR for again the bingo board and and getting it on one day's notice to to be able to have this multi-battle thing going on he is a wizard isn't he he really is oh, yes <laughs> yeah um yeah just uh i look forward to tomorrow night and i suppose i'll share my final list of final thoughts then uh sir link a lot other uh, finalists final thoughts yeah, it was a fun seat bingo board was uh it was hard to pick which one you wanted to actually do there weren't any like really th this line's really bad give it to them uh, mm -hmm. I, I was going to give column two up until like the last one. I'm like, hey, let's just do column three. Uh, just because that one looks actually a little bit worse. So, mm -hmm. uh, but no, looking forward to the race tomorrow and we'll see what happens. I, I think knowing, knowing Fizzle Beef, I probably would have given him column five. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about the debate on that, about, you know, what to give you Fizzle. Um, I mm -hmm. would say to give you anything with a white mage is you know, pure torture. So I understand that. Yeah, I'm looking at column five is just like, eh, 
I would have been happier to see that than I was column three, but mm -hmm. I agree that this was overall a tame board. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, while we got you on the mic, final thoughts of the tournament in general, the seed, anything on your mind? Why can't I just find the progression items when I need them? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I, know, I know those feels, man. Yeah. That chime. Oh, boy. Yeah, it was cube. funny. His fizzle was the cube, and you were the chime, Channing, and you guys were yeah, both I, I found cube very early, but chime, oh, boy, couldn't find Marsh Cave. Oh, yeah. Mm. That, was, that was something. Um, Channigan, your final thoughts, sir? Um... That was that was so fun. <laughs> Even though I'm, I feel like I haven't played my best tonight. Um, GG Serling Kalart. Uh, Be tuned for me, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. Throwing my co-op, uh, not my co-op partner, but my, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> under, just under the bus, whatever. Um, no, uh, that was fun. Uh, thank you guys for uh, commentating, restreaming, and everything. And yeah, that, that was a fun tournament. I, I like uh, having um, doing this in one week. Um, that, that was, I think, a really good time um, to do that, that tournament just before the uh, Duck Derby and before the uh, Platypus. Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Platypus, Platypus party. Platy party? party. Yeah. So yeah, just just in between those two. Um, no, I'm I'm pretty happy. That was fun. Good tournament. Good people. Yeah. And again, a huge thank you to ADR for uh, the bingo board and everything he does behind the scene. He, he's a magician. I'm being DM'd by my friends here saying I skipped your final thoughts. 